All right, we got here a uh, 2006 Buick Rendezvous. Uh, it's a crank no start. They tried putting in uh, starting fluid, it didn't help. So first thing I look for when you get into a crank no start is just turn the steering wheel, see what we're doing. All right, so I'm looking at the security light to make sure it doesn't turn on. I'm gonna crank it now. It's not on, so. I don't think it's a security issue. And also, I have a tachometer to see if we're getting a signal input from the crank sensor. So it's not moving at all. So either we're not getting an input, or sometimes it just doesn't show. So we're gonna plug in the scan tool, and I wanna see on the scan tool if I'm getting a RPM signal. All right, while the scan tool is loading up, just showing we do have an engine light on, so that means we have communication with the computer. Um, all right, we got a GM 2006 Model B. Don't know what that means. We're just gonna do a full scan. All right, so we do have codes in the computer. Doing a full scan here. We'll see if that gives us direction. We'll just let it finish so I can save a report. All right, so you see here we got the heated action sensor circuit high voltage, sensor two, an EVAP vent system performance, and a cooling fan relay one control circuit. All right, now I'm gonna to try to read the data stream while I crank it. So now it says zero here, I'm gonna crank it. See, we got our RPM signal. All right, so now I'm gonna assume we have a crank signal, but we're gonna just go check if we have spark and then we'll take it from there. All right, so I got a test light, connect the battery negative, and here's the coil over here. He's gonna crank it and I'm gonna see if I get spark. All right, crank. All right, stop. All right, as you can see, there's no spark. So now I'm gonna check power to the coil. All right, so here we have a diagram of this car. So let's go find the coil. All Oh, so here's the ignition control module on top of the right valve cover. All right, I'm assuming this over here is the actual con coil. So it gets control from all these. And it should have ignition one voltage on this pink wire, which comes from injection fuse, 15 amp, under the hood. All right. All right, so now I'm going to turn the key on, or maybe it's still on, it's not on, okay, I'm going to turn the key on, so now that, we should have power at that fuse, an injection fuse, um, it should be hot and on or start, even fuse, also there's two of them, there's the even fuse and an odd fuse, but it actually looks like maybe, did I miss a fuser, is there another one? One, three, and two. So it's a waste spark system. So there's only three. There's only three controls, and each one controls both of them. There's a ground. All right, so there's only one ignition one volt. So it comes from an injection one fuse, which is, let's find it. Um, so it's this one right here. All right, so we have a test light. Power on one side and power on the other, so the fuse is good. Let me just check the injection odd fuse also. And that's also good. So now I'll check it at the terminal, at the actual module. Let's see if I can find the wires that's back here. Are they right here? Okay. All right, so I got the connector out for the coil. There is six wires going in. So if we look at the diagram. All right, so we got, right, here's the coil. We got six wires. So pin A is red and white. And that's our power wire. So 
sorry, that's not, that's control too. So this one, the pink wire is our power wire and the black and white is our ground. Now this should be constant with the bat, I mean, with, this should be with the key on. So I'm gonna put a, a four amp test light across it. Which tiny little thing, so it won't spread the terminal. And it's not lighting up. So, this is our issue right here. That we have no power or ground. So now which one are we missing? Let's find out. Let's get a jumper wire. So I can jump this to um, battery. You know what? I'm just going to use this half of the test light because I'm lazy. Just going to unscrew this here. Now this is a straight ground. And that is a straight power. If I go like this, it lights up. So we know we have good power. And this ground right here is a bad ground. So let's plug this back in. Let's see how this is supposed to be grounded. Means right now we should have a good ground right here when we touch it, and we don't. All right, so yeah, this wire right here, this black and white, is supposed to be a ground, and it's grounded on the engine compartment on bell housing left of starter. G one one one. So let's just do a bypass. Let's just jump ground right here. Let's see where this is going to before anything. Let's plug this in. And we're going to jump ground to this guy right here. This car should start. All right, so I got over here a wire, a jumper wire. I'm going to ground this at the battery. OK. Now this, I'm going to put into this piercing probe. And I'm going to pierce this wire right over here. So if we put a test light across here, after we have our thing connected, and it does light up, okay, great. I'm going to plug this back in. All right. So now we should have power around to our coil. Now if I'm correct, this car should start. If there's no other issues, let's turn the key off. And the car started right up. See that? The car's running. So now we just gotta find that ground. Now we just have to find the ground that goes to the coil. Alright, so the grounds, the computer says, is on the engine compartment on bell housing. So I do see some grounds over here. Uh, let me see if I get you in there. These grounds right over. Can't find them now. These grounds right here. I'm gonna pierce into the wire right here to see if it's grounded. Alright, so over there I got one of the grounds pierced with my Phil's probe. And now I have a test light that's good to connect to battery positive if I touch a ground. It lights up, so I'm going to touch the probe right here, and it lights up. So this ground is okay, but there's like 10 wires over there. Let's see if I go into the next one. This also one's lower down here. I don't know which one is the right one. Let's see if this one lights up. It also does. This one also lights up. There's one more over here. And this guy lights up. So either it's not one of these grounds or the brake is somewhere in the middle of the wire. So let's follow this harness a little bit, see what we can find. It comes from here, it comes out here. I should check the wire over here if it has a ground. This is a, um, it should be a black and white wire. So let's let's search, let's give it a plug on that.
I made a really dumb mistake. <laughs> okay, this is my mistake. I left this ground plugged in. So this could be back feeding ground to all these other wires. So I gotta do all those tests again. I gotta pull this out. Now let's see if we have ground. Well, let's first see if we have ground on this one. We do. We have ground over here. Now do we have ground over here? We have ground here also. You know what that means? It means I fixed, by touching it, I fixed the ground. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare to find. Oh, come on, okay. Let's see if this car starts. And it starts and runs. Oh man, that was a big mistake. So I gotta wait for this to break. Or I'm just gonna clean up all those grounds. That's what we're gonna do.